Hi there, it's the Life Lento here. And first of all, I would like to apologize. This video is gonna have a lot of flickering. Because I'm planning to show you the Oculus with Blender in a way that has never ever been shown before. So uh, what we have here already on play is the virtual reality add-on. And I coded for Blender as part of our activities at Visgraph. Impa, the lab I'm here now. So basically, sorry about the flickering as I said. Uh, what they have here is a lot of, uh, is a way to explore the, vir the virtual reality scene, well, the, the Blender scene through virtual reality. So before you're finishing, you finish your rendering, before you finish your game, whatever, you can preview with all in Blender. Okay, it works with shaded mode. It works actually really nicely with the wireframe mode. It actually gives me one of the best uh, results. Oh, well, it gives the best the best performance definitely. So this way you can explore your whole scene. Just to be clear, I'm recording the the device because if I just move the device, uh, what you see there is a preview. Now let's change again to the shaded mode. Uh, moving the, the camera again, yeah, and that's all fine. And but what happens? What happens if you want to record to actually preview the, the the render? We all know that Cycles has its own preview mode, so you can preview the render before it's finished in the viewport. Uh, but uh, at this moment, there's no uh, solution for VR. You need to go through your rendering process, save out the image, and then preview it in a third party application or whatever. So now I have this extremely experimental rendered option which basically requires a custom blender. Um, basically that's all it requires and a branch for the add-on. So what you see here, so I'm moving, I'm rotating the Oculus around, okay? And from the Oculus point of view, you get the final rendered scene. Let's try to. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna record uh, the image from within the Oculus, but be aware that's very, uh, very uh, bad quality. And it's gonna look awful in the video, especially compressed. But that's okay. So we have this couch here. We have a mirror over there. Have, uh, what else? We have a carpet here, and this is not a fast computer, so this graphic card, and this is not very optimized scene, so this graphic card is taking its time. We are on sample 14, but take this as a concept, okay? The more, the, the, the longer you wait, the more defined you get your view from the Oculus. Um, and, and that's pretty much about it. Um, it's basically a concept uh, for this to be used in production. I know probably the, the approach I took would need to be less hacky, but I'm happy to. I'm happy with what we have. I mean, having seen these explored in other softwares yet. I uh, hope you like it. Uh, I'm at the VR lab in Impa in Brazil part of the this graph which is headed by professor Luis Velho hope you like it bye